Now, according to a recent Pew Center report, African Americans are at a much higher risk of contracting COVID-19 than the rest of the population, and we are much more likely to die than white people from the virus. The report also concluded that unless state and local government double down on COVID-19 prevention campaigns in predominantly black communities, the disease will continue to spread. In 16 states, the death percentage of African Americans' death due to COVID-19 outnumber the black population. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. In Illinois and Michigan, blacks were nearly three times as likely to die from COVID-19. In South Carolina and Tennessee, blacks are nearly twice as likely to die from the virus. Now, here to discuss these startling statistics and give us some remedies is Dr. Susan Spell. Welcome to The Black Report, Dr. Susan Spell. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. So my first question is, why is COVID-19 impacting the Black community at such an alarming rate? This is a really serious problem, mm -hmm. and it, it it leads to the like the basic things, like where you eat, where you work, and the way that you transport yourself. We're, we're just far more likely to live in a crowded situation because of socioeconomic stresses that's plagued our race from mm -hmm. the beginning. Um, we're also more likely to use public transportation, mm -hmm. which is a really huge cesspool of ways to contract COVID-19. And, um, you know, just from seeing, being there, being in the company of other people, it's really difficult to social distance under those circumstances. Yeah. Correct. And also where we work. Mm. Uh, we are great at getting government jobs or people that deal, working at the post office jobs that you're dealing with the public a lot that within itself places us at higher risk right mm. now we do know about the social distancing and washing our hands and wearing masks but what are some other preventative things we can do to avoid COVID 19. you know something i think is really helpful and it helped my family and i try to spread the word as much as i can is COVID 19 dies with heat mm. and um it's washing your hands is great the, the main thing with the merit wearing the mask, even if you're not in the public uh, right. with some or with someone else that has it is it keeps you from touching your face. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's very important because you wouldn't realize it. But on the average, a person touches their face about 20 times within an hour. Mm -hmm. wow. so they're brilliant for that. But getting to what I'm so thrilled about is that heat kills the virus. Okay. So a blow dryer, um, so what we do is we have kind of like a mud room when you come in our house, mm -hmm. you take off your clothes, you, you know, take off anything that could have the virus on it and literally strip naked and go take a shower. And, uh, you know, much to my kids chagrin, but that's just how we do it. But another thing we have is a blow dryer there. So anything like your cell phone or anything that you had while you were out and dealing with the public, you can blow dry it, not oh. to the point where where you heat it up and it doesn't function, but literally mm -hmm. it's like just about two minutes mm -hmm. and switching it back and forth, you can actually do that to your hand. And more importantly, if you feel like you slipped up and I don't know, you were out there, you were in the fruit section and decided to just try some fruit and you know, think you may have contracted it in some ways, you can blow dry the nose area. Oh. And so turn your blow dryer on, you breathe in, and then, you know, exhale, of course, don't, you know, make it so you can't breathe. But the point is, while you're doing that for about two minutes, if there is any virus that got in your nasal passageway, mm -hmm. it will kill it. Right. Wow. Interesting. Very informative. Yeah, I actually, love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dr. Susan Spell, does diet play a role in combating COVID-19 and what should we be eating? Well, it does play a role and overall health is extremely important um, because first of all, if you are on quarantine right now, mm -hmm. you're not getting outside and um, vitamin D, there's a lot of talk about it. And it's actually true. It does decrease your body's um, susceptibility to get viruses. Mm -hmm. But if you're, uh, and then there's are kind of studies that show that areas that have COVID fatality are areas that people are low in vitamin D. Mm. So it's important that, especially number one, we have pigment <clears throat> and vitamin D is a conversion of, you know, it takes place in our skin, like you're out in the sun, you and when you have, um, when you're in the sun, it activates the vitamin T D in your system to be effective. Mm -hmm. But of course, when you have a lot of color, there's not that much sun that's getting through our pigment. That's what, you know, everybody loves our, our black don't crack but there are there's a few down 
<laughs> a downfalls, and that would be that our body, we have protection from ultraviolet rays from the sun, so we don't convert our vitamin D as easy. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yes, it yeah. does, it yeah. does. Okay. You, uh, Dr. Spell, you said that you can tell a lot about our health through our body. How can we assess our health through our skin, our body, our tongue, our nails, our hair? Great question. Um, uh, one of the things you can do uh, is notice if there's any changes. Like all of a sudden you finding yourself bruising or right. your hair is especially brutal, brittle. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really important with COVID-19 and, and prevention is how well is your immune system working? Mm. So if you're, if you're not fighting off like a very common thing that almost everyone will get at one point is dandruff mm. and your scalp um, because it's, it's very prevalent. And if you find that you're getting big flakes, sores in your scalp, and your body is not able to fight that off, that's a change. And it also is a change that indicates that you probably, your immune system isn't working as well. Uh, oh, wow. You know? So that's something you wanna pay attention to. Other things like <clears throat> ridges in the nail, of course, that could mean that you might have diabetes, you might have other problems going on with your internally, your liver or other aspects of your internal system that you should go to the doctor and get it checked out. Um, clearly, if you have, you probably the most serious and ominous for us as a race would be if you have a, a mole on your finger, underneath your finger, and uh -huh. it usually looks like a, a line that's going straight out of your mm -hmm. finger, just like straight up and down like I'm that. Checking now, like, yo, <laughs> you know. Um, a lot of people don't know, like Bob Marley died of, melanoma yep. mm. which the, which is a skin cancer mm. and it's how it exhibits we don't get it on our legs and our mm -hmm. abdomen our face usually we get it on on the palms of our hands right. and the mm -hmm. soles of our feet and sometimes you can see it in the nail so mm. that's that's another thing you look for and just to that's such a good question also your tongue uh -huh. if you mm. see changes in your tongue or you start it's like a black darkness or there's something on it it could be an indication of cancer which all affects your immune system because not only do we get COVID more, mm -hmm. we, we're twice as likely to die from it once we do get it. So wow. now with that being said, now what, I'm so sorry. Uh, what supplements should we be taking to boost our immune system? Well, I, I'm a big fan of vitamin D. They okay. make yeah. a difference. It, it, helps, mm -hmm. yep. it helps your immunity uh, from viruses. So mm -hmm. definitely want to be on top. We have a predisposition to be low in vitamin D because we have pigment. So take vitamin D, take overall supplements um, too, and try to eat as much vegetables as you can, mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables while you're on COVID. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to do, but see if you can avoid oh. drink, eating as many sweets. Okay. Eat those vegetables. That's gonna be a tough one, Dr. Spell. <laughs> I was gonna say, you said that. Yeah. You, said yeah. That. you so, sound like my mama. <laughs> So now, the country think, is opening back up, whether we like it or not. Uh, what are some resources we can go to to learn more information about protecting ourselves from COVID-19? I really like going to the Center for Disease Control site. Okay. They're, they're on top. They're cutting edge about mm -hmm. everything that's going on with COVID. I really liked early on, they told us how to make masks out of T-shirts and, you know, how you could cut it in a way before yep. everybody masks mm -hmm. that they're using now now there's like designer masks in beverly hills right. so yeah, very good. but but it was just it was really good i thought it was excellent and they give you the latest update some of the statistics so go to the center for disease control mm -hmm. and it's www you know center for cdc and get your information there well look thank you so much for joining yes. us your time has just been so honorable so we really appreciate you dr spell <laughs> for having me thank you so much for getting this message out to our of people course. because we have to be on top of this or Thank they take you. us out. Yes, we Thank do. you. I got my Thanks, vitamin D, but got I still got to eat my sweets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a little bit of less. I still got to yes. do it. Eat some sweet tarts, Rome. <laughs>